Thank you, Matt. Ohio State quarterback Braxton Miller won't miss any playing time from his social media photo promoting a line of nutritional supplements. Ohio State announcing today the incident is a secondary NCAA violation. Miller has undergone an educational session and is reinstated to the Buckeyes without any loss of eligibility, and OSU considers the matter closed. What is not closed is when Miller will return to the playing field and in what capacity and who will be catching passes from the Buckeye quarterbacks, whoever that quarterback is. With last year's starting receivers Devin Smith and Evan Spencer graduated and Michael Thomas sitting out the rest of it this spring with a sports hernia injury along with Don Trey Wilson still recovering from last year's broken foot. Look from some new faces playing new roles in next Saturday's spring game. Uh, Noah Brown's probably had the best, as good a spring as, as I could have wanted. I mean, he's dropped 25 pounds, and I mean, he's he's on a different level than he was in the fall. And so I'm really, really pleased with where he, he's at. I mean, he's come he's come a long way, and he, he's still got a little bit of work to do, but but he's looking like a guy that's going to contribute heavily in the fall. Uh, and then, then young guys like Paris Campbell and, and, and Terry McLaurin, they're still, they're still working. They're, they're, every day they're going out, and I mean, they leave practice blown out because they're, I mean, they're grinding to get better. Uh, they're not there yet. But there's, every now and then they show a flash or a promise where you say, all right, in the fall, by the fall, I think we can get this guy ready to play. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Michael Thomas is a superior player. He is a superior player. And he has had a great spring prior to the – or before the injury. I mean, strong, tough, and a ball catcher. Um, uh, Noah Brown has had a great spring for a young kid. And again, a strong kid who lost a lot of weight. He's quicker, got a good first step burst and quickness. And uh, Jalen Marshall's playing a variety of positions, which I think doesn't do anything but increase his value to the team. He's playing outside. He's playing inside. He can go in the backfield. He's got, you know, the skill set to be able to do all of that. I think our receivers are very, very good. And I think that's what makes our corners better. we got to go against them every day.